Hello gorgeous Virgo and welcome to your weekly reading. I hope you're all doing really well. Guidance for Virgo please spirit. Guidance and messages for Virgo. This is a general reading so please take what resonates for you personally and just leave the rest. Not all of the messages will resonate for you. That's okay. Just take what fits your situation or what feels right for you. And remain open to your intuition throughout the whole reading because spirit really does want to speak to you through your intuition. You may see a symbol or an image on one of the cards which really stands out for you. The message or writing on one of the cards may really resonate or it just feels like you're wanting to jot that down for later and meditate on it to see what spirit is trying to really say about that for you. So just remain open to your own inner guidance throughout the reading messages for Virgo please spirit messages for Virgo let's take a look at your first card we have the energy of surrendering the habit of people pleasing speak your needs and be true to yourself focus on your own happiness instead of always trying to make everyone else happy there's going to be a big change in your attitude towards someone this week. There's going to be a big change. And this is going to come as a massive, huge shock to the other person. This is, in fact, going to be a blessing for you. This is going to be a big blessing that you see someone in a different light or your feelings may be changing um, for a positive or um, for negative. You may you may actually start to see someone's true colors and you're starting to see the negative traits from someone that they may have been trying to mask or in fact it's going to be the opposite to that and it's going to be where you understand that um, there is something really special going on here in this relationship so um, it's going to be different for everyone um, how this comes through and what situation it is whether it's a love relationship or not um, but I do feel that this is going to come as quite an unexpected blessing for you this week, Virgo. So really important energy. And we have believing in magic. True magic is abounding in my life. So it's, yeah, I like this energy for you because it means that you're kind of, you're going to the next level in a spiritual way. And I'm, I'm hearing the word manifestation. So you are wanting to manifest or you're learning how to manifest what it is in your life. And it's about believing that it can come true. It's having that firm understanding and knowledge within yourself that firm belief that magic can happen in your life or in a particular circumstance in your life you may have a particular thing that you are wanting to manifest and this is confirmation that if you do believe um, you'll be able to bring this manifestation through to completion true magic is abounding in my life a really nice positive affirmation there for you if you find if you if this resonates for you Okay, so this is a really um, powerful energy. We have the butterfly spirit. And of course, the butterfly represents big changes. And just like I was picking up with this first card here, there's going to be a massive change or huge shock that happens when your eyes are open to a situation or a person in your life. Transformation is going to take place. And no matter what actually happens from this, it's important to remember that transformation is in fact a beautiful thing. It means that you're growing and developing in your life. It means that you're going to the next level spiritually. Often that's what it means. So I feel that this is this is such a powerful symbol for you um, and for the, the, for the circumstance that you're going through. All that is going to come up in your life very soon. The energy of a journey. So this may mean that you are actually going on a journey this week or you're planning a future travel it can mean local travel. It can mean that you're going and visiting new places or new people that you're getting to know. It may mean more distant travel and you're actually thinking of a vacation perhaps or maybe you're traveling for work. This symbol also represents 
crossroads. And this can mean that you are at a crossroads right now. You're not quite sure. There is an, an uncertainty to a situation. There's an uncertainty in yourself. There's confusion. So the key words here are crossroads, forward thinking and time to move on. It may in fact be the right time for you to move on from a person, a place or a circumstance. You're done with it. It's finished. It's time to move on. And that in fact may be linked for you back to this very first card of surrendering the habit of people pleasing. You have been hurt in some way. The nine of wands means that you have been injured. You've been hurt emotionally, physically, mentally. There has been an injury that has occurred and you're standing strong even though this has happened. I also see that you are looking very closely at a relationship or at, um, in an environment, perhaps it's the work or your business. You're looking very closely at what is going on the interactions between you and others or what's going on in the environment this is key this is going to give you information this is going to make you wiser this is going to help you get clarity and you're standing strong you are not falling over and not getting up again you are in fact standing very strong and i am seeing these wands behind you so you actually have quite a large support system whether you're utilizing that or not. Um, this may be an official sp uh, support system in the work environment, for example, it may be friends or family. This, in fact, may be your spirit team. The Six of Cups is about friendship, it's about goodwill, and it's also about the past. So you may have been hurt in the past and you're looking back in the past and you're understanding it for what it really was or who this person really was. This card is also representing children um, and innocence. So that may resonate for you this week as well in, in some way. There's also an energy of nostalgia and actually thinking about the past in a nostalgic way. Now that is okay. There is an energy of being stuck in this state though. So it is about forward thinking as well. Going back to this card, you don't want to get too caught up in thinking about the past. You need to move on as well. Um, so yes, it's time to move on in some kind of way here. It's okay to think and reminisce and have that nostalgia as long as you don't get stuck there. The Hierophant is... A very spiritual card actually um, it's spiritual authority over you so it looks like there's going to be a connection with um, spirituality in a way that opens you up to the immensity to the authority um, over you there is also an energy here of learning um, different things spiritually intuitively psychically religiously um, you're in a process of discovery this can indicate that there is an institution that you are that's being constructed by um, humans that you are interacting with whether it be educational institution governmental um, whether it is um, financial okay so there is this energy of an institution coming through as well this is the card of the teacher. So you may in fact be finding a guide or a teacher. You may be a student in some regard. You may be considering a course or um, education. Or this may be your path, your life path or your job or career or profession profession. The Page of Wands is a child or um, someone that's younger than you. So I do see that energy for some of you. The Page of Wands is excitement about a newness of an enthusiast. You're enthusiastic about a newness that's coming into your life, whether it be a relationship or another area of life. Um, there is a newness, so expect that to come through in some way. Some newness is taking place here for you and there's excitement about it. I'm seeing that there's excitement about a manifestation that you're in fact going to have success in manifesting. 
and we have the ten of wands so you're at the end of the road it seems like there's a lot of burden a lot of responsibility laying upon you you can't see clearly but there is going to be a turnaround here and I feel that that's what spirit is saying with that card there is going to be a breakthrough a turnaround in um, what it is you're trying to manifest something will come through it might be about a journey it might be about the, the past um, you'll know what spirit is saying here where you're feeling that you're just pushing up against a difficult situation that is going to come to an end so I hope you have a wonderful week ahead and I'll talk to you all again soon